Teacups, like a lady plays here, and today we're continuing Crimes and Punishments, Sherlock Holmes. Alright, so now, last time we got, we found little Wiggins, and we're, I think, making progress in this case. I don't know, this is taking forever. Okay, so I have to disguise myself as a sailor and find Karen's at the Sea Witch Pub. There's a sea witch. Okay, so let's go to the bedroom. And I think this is my bedroom. Go to the wardrobe. Green suit. Gray suit. White suit. Bandit outfit. Farmer outfit. Morning gown. Okay, sailor outfit. Yeah? Yeah. I think the leg is good, yeah. I can approach Cairns and see if he recognizes the pouch. Okay. So. Let's go to the pub. Cross your fingers. I want to finish this case in this episode. At him. Is that him? What the? Is that him? You him? I don't know what. I'm What are you stepping on, you weirdo? Oh, here we go. Oh, well, maybe not. It's not giving me an option to do anything. supposed to do? Really? I had to walk around the whole room and then this will happen? Hello there. Are you Cairns? What do you want? Well, you've heard all about the gambling on arm wrestling here. You seem like the likely sort, and I'm up for it. I start at ten shillings. Suits me. <laughs> Follow Patrick King's facial expressions to understand his moves. Push, restrain, idle, and then plan your counter strategy. Pay attention to your stamina. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Oops. <laughs> That's the arm that killed a hundred whales. Care to lose another ten shillings? Cheap clothes. Strong arms. 
Yellow nail. Sailor's. Oh, I can see. I'm ready to try again. Fine. If you want me to take all your money, no problem with that. Right, let's try it again. You really want to skip? Yes. Because <laughs> I don't understand what the freak is going on. <laughs> I tried. You really were good. lucky. I wasn't focused. Let's go again. Too bad. Yeah, I've had enough. You're too strong. Come back later when you can use your arms again. <laughs> So I got a new person. What's this nonsense? Many sailors use a heavy smoker. It has yellow nails. Thank you. Okay. So am I talking to him again? We've had enough. I don't You're know. Too Come back later when you can use your arms again. <laughs> it's making my brain hurt. So if the pouch belongs to it, it indicates his friends of the currency. It must still be proven. Okay. What does this do it tasks at? Disguise yourself as a Santa Fine friend. I did. Am I supposed to lose again? Am I supposed to fight him again? I'm ready to try again. Fine. If you want me to take all your money. No problem with that. I don't know. <coughs> Does that do anything? Well, good for you, I reckon. You're stronger than you look. Here's your ten shillings. We'd like to buy you a drink. Really? Good winner as well. That's good. Let's have a drink. You think, Clank? You're a good type. Seems you've managed to settle down in life. You've got money, eh? Not all that much. Oh, well. At least you're not as poor as me. Why do you say poor? You're not working? I'm a harpooner. You see, the whalers are rare. They don't pay much. So, as a result, I find myself arm wrestling to pay for my drink. <laughs> a harpooner. Interesting. You've had a lot of adventures, I bet. Now, of course. It's been a dozen years since I've sailed. I've seen everything. Gold Wallace, damn Black Peter, Great Roger. We sailed to the Cape of Good Hope. Black Peter, you say? I've heard rumors about that one. He was worse than all. Jeez. A liar, a violent too. Swinging those <laughs> fists of his around. I'm assuming I would have had to win like two times. At least not as good as Great Roger. I Goodness see. Gracious. Yes, I was told terrible tales about Black Peter. But you ain't heard the worst. Tell me. And let's have another drink. It was in 1883 that it happened. The August of that year. Peter Carey was captain of the Sea Unicorn. And I was a spare harpooner. We were coming out of the ice pack on our way home. One evening, we saw a little craft that had been blown north. There was only one man on her. And he wasn't a sailor. The crew must have thought that she'd foundered. 
They made for the Norwegian coast in the dinghy. I guess they all drowned. We took the man on board. Hmm. And who was he? I don't know. During the crossing, he and the skipper enjoyed some long talks. His baggage was just a tin box. That's strange enough. Aye. Even stranger was that on the second night, he disappeared. No, no nobody shit. knew what happened to him. And of course, nobody could ask Black Peter about it. It's an interesting dream. You know what happened, don't you? I do. I saw the skipper tie his heels and push him over the rail in the middle of my watch on that dark night. Two days before we sighted the Shetland lights. Black Peter's a murderer. I bum, bum, bum. Don't know he wouldn't be surprised to hear it. But all this must stay between us. All right? Of course. Or Plant. Back Ow. in a second. Are you must be Hazy. I'll be here with my drink. Let's got to go take a leak. Please complete. Determine owner of Here it is. So now what? Is that the banyo? Now do I talk to him? Do I pretend to go to the bathroom? Or do I just plant the dang thing? Whatever. I need a little bit of guidance here. Have you got any tobacco? We've run out of mine. Nah, I lost my pouch. I don't know where. Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, is this your tobacco pouch? Well, oh. Oh, it is. Well, I have to go now. I know a captain who's planning an expedition to Cape Cod. Captain Ahab is his name. He commanded the Pequod. He might need good harpooners. I'll tell him about you. Maybe, if you like, I. Yeah, you're going to jail. I'm done here. It's time to leave. Okay. But nothing's coming together. I don't have any clues. Wait a minute. Am I supposed to click on one and then click on another one? Pouch proofs. What? Let's see something here. Hold on. Boom. Oh, snap, y'all. Murder. Okay, so... Cairns is guilty. Peter Carey was murdered by Patrick Cairns. Cairns is a professional harpooner. His tobacco pouch was found inside Carey's cabin. Condemned Cairns. Karen. Patrick Cairns is a cold blood murderer. He has been found guilty of the murder of Peter Carey and must be punished. Absolved Cairns. Patrick Cairns killed Peter Carey, but the murder was not premeditated. Was in self defense against an armed and irrational drunk sailor. Huh. Huh. 
But that's a big ball of him being guilty, right? Mindless flirting, desperate jealousy. I don't know. Does that do anything? Oh, there's a bunch of balls right there. Kelly's motive for relationship gives him a motive for killing Peter. His presence at Woodman Lee on the night of the murder is explained by his affection towards the fact that he works as their gardener. Red color highlights logical conflicts between which they can be resolved by switching to alternate. Well, maybe he is innocent. I don't know. Stolen papers. And what's this nonsense? Could have been caught stealing. This might have something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Nelligans is like totally innocent. Okay, so that's correct. So this is wrong. What the hell? I don't know. Jeez, Louise. See what? Okay. Now Hartley's gu guilty. Hartley is guilty. Liam Hartley murdered Peter Carey. The motive was jealousy and his love for Carey's wife. Liam Hartley has been found guilty of the murder of blah blah blah. He must be punished. Mine was clouded by his love for Judith, Peter's wife. This murder was a crime of passion under emotional duress. Nevertheless, he must answer to the law. You have built two different conclusions from now on. You can quickly switch between them and the conclusions. Okay, let's see. You know what? Oh, wrong button. Let me see something. Peter killed Peter, but the murder was not premeditated. It was in self defense. Uh, I'm gonna go with Karen's is guilty. No. Fudge. Yes. Okay, let's do it. Okay, Karen's is guilty because this crap was there. And I'm going to do absolved Karen's. Peter Karen's killed Peter Carey, but the murder was not premeditated. It's in self defense against an armed and irrational drunken sailor. Yes. The next day. Good afternoon. I must be at the wrong address. I've got to speak with a ship's captain, a Captain Ahab. Is that you? Mm. No, my name is Sherlock Holmes. A detective fella. So, you wanted to see me? That is correct. We need to talk. About what? About Black Peter, who was killed in his own hut with a harpoon. Mm. Please tell me I mean no, the... don't you? Yes. Oh, did I make the right choice? How? The tobacco pouch. You recognized it. The sailor. It was you. Mm. Unbelievable. Well, fine. I confess. But if you really do know everything, you should also know that I didn't want to kill him. He made me do it. I know. 
Did you know about this story with the bond certificates? Did you need money? Yeah. I just wanted my cough up a little silver. I'm out of work, and I thought maybe he could help me. Well, he refused outright, and he insulted me. I reminded him I knew all about that murder he committed at sea in 1883. Then he got mad when I spoke about his treasure. I barely just had time to throw the harpoon at him before he could jump at me with his knife. You know the truth? What will you do now? I ask that you return the bond certificates. Keep some of them. You will need them in your exile. It is better that you leave the country for a few years. And you won't say anything to the police? I will not say anything as long as you return the money. Well, I'll do as you ask. But what about Inspector Lestrade? Oh, I'll take care of him. I will deal with him. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Some time later. It's good that you asked me to come, Miss Rose. We do need to talk. About what? What do you mean? Our case, Mr. Rose. You sent me a message via your little thug. His name is Wiggins, Inspector. Telling me that the case is solved. Well, Mr. Rose, tell me, who is our murderer and where is he? The morgue. Eh? His name is, or rather was, Pablo Coventrao. He was also on the ship with Peter Carey, and he nice. was a harpooner. I'll tell you everything, Inspector, but do calm down. Mrs. Hudson will bring us tea and orange cake. Orange cake? You're spoiling me, Mr. Holmes. That's my favorite. Yeah, he knows. Gosh, how long does this go on? I oh, want to end Holmes. this. Inspector Lestrade told me that I should thank you for clearing my name. He also said that you were waiting for me here. I came as fast as I could. I cannot thank you enough. It is all because of you that this nightmare is finally over. I believe that this... This might be a long video, guys. Sorry. ...are the securities. Incredible. But how did you get them? It would take far too long to explain. Mm hmm Tell me. This is extraordinary. You are a genius. Then that may serve as an explanation. Goodbye, Mr. Nelligan, and... Nelligan. Goodbye, Mr. Holmes, and thank you. A thousand times, thank you. The fate of Black Peter. Peter was murdered by Chica. Clues found 16. Conclusion Karen's is guilty. Moral choice absolve Karen's. Hold to check your conclusion may spoil game experience. Choose another ending. Accept decision. Running, you are about to finish the case. So we were moved. Press no if you would like to select another moral choice. Possess if you agree with the choice you have made. I have agreed. Your ranking, sympathizing. Cool. Cool, cool. Riddle rails. Well, I'm going to call that here. Sorry, I just got in a thingy. Okay, so I'm going to call this video here. Uh, I'm sorry if it's super long. I future me edit this. Just saying. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to call it here with y'all pinkies up, hit that like button, and subscribe. And until next time, keep it classy. See ya!